What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today we're doing another unboxing video for you guys to check out with me. I honestly have no clue what's in here as far as knives go, so your guys are in for a little treat, just like I am, because you're going to see my first impressions going into this package. I do know it's coming from Lefty EDC's uh, knife pass around, so shout out to Kevin. And also, uh, this particular one is coming from A13 EDC. Check him out here on YouTube as well. He also goes over knife and EDC gear content as well that being said doing the honors today we have the kumu pulsar xl this thing is a behemoth of a knife right here i recently just got it unboxed in the channel i'm currently carrying the heck out of this knife and honestly i'm having a blast this thing is bigger than any knife that i own up until this point so yeah there's something to be said about the pulsar xl check out the unboxing on this knife if you haven't already also there will be links down in the description for this knife and any other knife that you see in this video those links do help out the channel if you do end up purchasing a knife through those links but that is entirely up to you and at no additional cost with that in mind let's go ahead and cut through the thing here shall we i think the best way to get through it might be to maybe make a cut somewhere here i'm going to try to see if i can save the package as much as i can the best that i can I'm trying to save mother nature here right recycling packages if we can things like that let's just see And this one here is inevitable, so I'm just going to open it this way. There we go. Which is not all the way around it. It does have that really strong sticky glue right there. All right, so we're in the package here. And it sounds like we're in for a real treat here because it sounds like we have more than one knife in here. So let's see what we're working with here. Holy smokes, quite a lot of stuff on this one. Let's check it out here, shall we? That's everything in the box. Uh, it looks like we have a Kaiser knife right there. We got a plethora of stickers. Check out Lefty. Check out JD for EDC. Work knife balance. Who else do we have here? Not knife nerdy. Check them out as well. All, right, all kinds of stickers going on here. It makes me feel like I'm so late to the sticker game, you guys, because I need to get some stickers going myself. Holy smokes. I, I like the ones with, the, with a little bit of a flair to them. All right, that is pretty cool all right so check out all these channels if you haven't already guys these folks here make awesome content on knives and edc gear as well looks like we have another kaiser knife here and this is an interesting one bgpt as well so it's gonna be a little bit of a difficult one deciding deciding which one okay we got three kaiser knives in total all right we should probably go through every kaiser knife and then possibly do the bgtp one last probably possibly right kind of makes sense to do it that way uh also i'm probably going to be splitting this into different videos it does help with seo or search engine optimization with a smaller channel like mine about 30 to 35 percent of all my views come from search engine so people are searching for specific searching searching for specific knives and that's how they find my content so here we have the kaiser Kaw, the kaiser Kaw, k u h all right check that one out we have bryce is the designer it's hard to read it's so small bryce marco ameno okay <laughs> 154 cm blade black micarta uh lbk button lock okay that is one right there next we have the dogfish okay that's gonna be an interesting one by caleb waltman as a designer 154 cm black blade aluminum and button lock uh, followed by the Sparrow, right? This one is a Vincent Rizzo design. S35VN black stone wash blade, titanium handle. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. And last but not least, the BGPT, which we don't really know too many details about. This one is a debut here in the channel. So let's get to it. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with, there you go, in this order, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy here first. Again, this one is the Kaw okay 154 cm blade here we go if you guys are ready i'm ready let's take a look here boom got the instructions warranty information all that good stuff here got the kaiser wiping cloth right there got the kaiser warranty and product information here i don't know if you guys want to pause the video if you want to take a look at it right there you're more than welcome to read through that if you like all right perfect got that and we have the, all right, we got the knife here itself. Silica gel. We got the Kaiser Care sticker right there with the Mighty Koala going on. And we have some additional hardware as well. All right, interesting. We got 
quite a good amount of interesting amount of goodies on this one all right and here it is for the and here it is for the knife itself you guys let's take a look okay first impression what is this micarta yeah this micarta feels very very nice i've tasted not tasted <laughs> i have tested some micarta here during my time but man oh man does this one feel nice to the touch right like very like much more refined than some of the other micarta that i have checked out to say the least and we have okay exposed liners all throughout in one side the liner works as the linear hole check that out we got filler tap on this side which is nice it is a reversible deep pocket carry clip which is good and we have thumb stud deployment on each side with a very good decent amount of access from each end which is good and it is a button lock oh front we got front flipper deployment regular back flipper deployment all right this ought to be really good on this one yeah let's go ahead and get this thing flipped open here shall we i'm gonna go ahead and start with the thumb deployment boom that thing fired pretty good with an attitude right there let's get a nice quick wipe here this one is coated in black all right let's check this thing out so uh we have a drop point blade going on on this one right check out the black coat right there against the light again this one is a 154cm got the kaiser logo on this side with the steel and we have car right this one is a so car is the name and this one is the designers brand right there or logo again bryce mark i'm gonna go <laughs> i want to have to put a designer right here because i can barely read it off of the box but that is the designer for this knife let's uh, check ergonomics on this one all right so we have a pretty interesting curvature going on here for your index finger so i have average hands not the biggest not the smallest here and as you can see i can get a full four finger grip right there bear um grip right there is good and forward choke option i guess if i wanted to forward choke i could still a decent amount you know far away from far away from the corner of that edge right there which is good got some jimping going on right there in the spine of the blade and it is a button lock so let's check that out it is a let's see it looks to be a plunge lock button lock there we go it sure is check that out yep there we go works as a you know typical plunge lock button lock on this one i can see quite a bit of milling going on on both sides right and it's pretty lightweight honestly there's really not a lot of weight to this one it's very very lightweight that button is actually the action on it is pretty good i can press it to close flipper deployment right there boom that's good let's try the front flipper okay that feels pretty good reach around let me see how to do it without sending the <laughs> without sending the knife flying all right might be a little bit of tricky here because i'm trying to get enough grip it the flipper top is not big enough i guess <laughs> i guess if i grabbed it with two hands i could do the reach around right that one might be just a tad bit tricky on this one and of course the button is right there too so i'm trying to get a good grip and not accidentally push the button while doing the front flipper but the thumb deployment is good and the reverse flick all right can we get the reverse flick there we go reverse flick with a push right here that's gonna work really good okay it is pretty nice and aligned right i also noticed that the blade right you can only see the blade because of the very because of the very accentuated curvature here but other than that the rest of the blade itself tucks in nice and elegantly there's something to be said about knives where the blade actually fully tucks in so i feel like that's really good i wonder if this darker section right here has become darker like that because of use right and then maybe this wider lighter section right here hasn't gotten worn off as much you know like i said different companies do micarta differently this is what the micarta looks like on the vasti raccoon right it's, you know perhaps slightly different sort of texture to it right if you will but yeah other than that again pretty lightweight ergonomically feels good even the reverse grip is good friday night gas station fighting for your slurpee if you're kevin that one's good too <laughs> i mean pretty good got some reach to it right again drop point blade oh that thing is pretty pretty slicey with the flat grind going on through and through again pretty big laying your hole here towards the back the pocket clip i barely feel it in my hand which is good right ergonomically speaking that's nice a little bit of uh, button lock stick, if you will, if anything. I wonder if that's, you know, if it breaks in after a while. And then also, right, as I'm 
grabbing the knife here, my index finger is pretty far away from the button as well. And I feel like I would have to really go out of my way and I almost don't, yeah, I don't have any leverage whatsoever to even push the button if I wanted to from this angle because it has to travel quite a bit in order for it to be disengaged. So you have to be intentional about, you know, unlocking the knife. Otherwise, that button lock is doing pretty good. It even has some texture to the button itself. So your finger has somewhere to grip when, you know, actuating the button right there, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so far, so good. Making a first impression. Let's do some size comparisons on this one. Here is your PM2. Sorry to go PM2 and pair 3. So based on the fact that the linear solution here sticks out a bit, honestly, honestly, it's very, very pair 3 territory, if anything, right? Very, very pair 3 territory. Uh, slightly bigger cutting edge than the pair 3. And of course, shorter than the PM2. What about the Demco 8020.5 right there? The shark's foot blade with the titanium scales. Very comparable, right? Here's the smaller brother, the shark cub. All right, you guys be the judge there, right? Just a tad bit bigger than the regular size 8020.5. Here's your wrap model one. Just one of the biggest knives in the channel here. And yeah, it's going to be a tad bit bigger. Here's the wrap model two. And somehow, yes, it is uh, bigger than the wrap model two, but shorter than the wrap model one. Take a look there for yourself. And last but not least, here's the Pyrite, CJRB Pyrite button lock as well. And the Vosti Raccoon. Check that out. All right, of course, the goal here is to give you a ballpark, right? Kind of where it lands compared to some of these other very popular knives, right? So you guys get the idea right there. And let's do some scientific paper cutting tests, shall we? <laughs> I say scientific because, you know, cutting paper really doesn't prove much, but somehow you guys obviously like doing, seeing that, doing unboxing and reviews. I got some everyday notebook paper with some chicken scratch from some of my past knife review videos here. And so we're gonna test, you know, the cutting performance, getting some quick slices. Uh, it, it bites pretty quick, I'll tell you that much. It definitely bites pretty quick. And getting some full slices on it <laughs> okay that 154 cm is cutting very effortlessly to say the least check this thing out holy smokes wow okay uh yeah so definitely you can do paper no doubt about that what about some everyday cardboard i got the pull-ups diaper box cardboard single wall going on here keep in mind when cutting cardboard don't cut perpendicular like this but at an angle for your best performance and here we go Wow. <laughs> All right, this thing is uh, a slicer, no doubt about that. There we go. All right. Cut a little bit there on that second to last cut, but it performed really, really good. You guys be the judge. Let me know in the, in the comments on scale from one through 10, how sharp is this guy? Keep in mind, it's not sharp out of the box. It has certainly seen some use, or it's not brand, brand new. And it's still holding a pretty mean edge, if you ask me. I'm feeling an ever so slightly button stick a little bit, right? As I'm pushing it in, it does stick a little bit, right? I get that feeling. It's a little bit harder to push down on the way back to disengage the blade. Uh, I'm not sure if button stick is what you would classify that. But I, I am noticing that. Just comparing it to, let's say, the Pyrite, for example. Yeah, barely any. Barely none, if any, button stick on the Pyrite. And I'm just feeling a tad bit on this one. Perhaps it could be because it's brand new. I am not sure, but you know, just quick observation. It feels like the harder you whip it out, I guess the more you have to press it in order to disengage it. But check out the drop shot action on this thing. Boom, that is really good right there. Right, the ball bearings on this thing are very very nice i mean this is ball bearings right no, da, da, da. yeah i see the ball bearings right there yeah very very smooth action right and again just an ever so slight amount of button stick if anything yeah i can see this one being a very very fidgety edc knife no doubt about that uh certainly lightweight i mean good size overall length for every adc task elegant on the fact that it tucks away honestly uh makes it look really good uh, ergonomically is comfortable multiple ways of deployment is always a win in my book every single day and yeah I can't wait to see what the carry experience is like with this guy again this one is the Kaiser Kaw 
K-U-H, right? Uh, this knife will be linked down below if you wanna check out more information about this knife. Of course, it does help this channel if you use those links, if you end up buying a knife through those links, but that's entirely up to you and at zero additional cost. You guys know the drill by now, I'm gonna be carrying this knife for about the next a uh, week or so before I had to send it forward within the lefty EDC knife pass around. So I'll be trying to gather as much feedback as I possibly can before recording that video so I can share with you guys everything you need to know about this knife. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else in between. So if you aren't yet subscribed, this will be a perfect opportunity to smash that subscribe button. Also do me a favor and hit the like button as well. It does help this video get pushed to a larger audience. If you hit the like button, it helps with the algorithm right there. If you want to support the channel a step further, please do consider uh, checking out the Patreon link down in the description where you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so right here on YouTube. You can become a member of the channel and you'll get access to exclusive perks. But that's been it, guys, on this uh, quick unboxing video. The Kaiser Ka, all the other knives will be unboxed in separate videos that are going to be posted very fairly recent you know, around the time of this one getting posted. So definitely check that out if you want to check the other ones or just put the make a model of the knife, Miguel EDC on the YouTube search bar. You'll be able to find it right away. So check that out. Also by now, if you haven't seen the unboxing on the Kumwu Pulsar XL, this beast of a knife right here, you definitely should check it out. Look how big this thing is. It's like the Titanic times 3000 right there next to this uh, Kaiser car that we just looked at. This thing is, awesome premium you know xl size and the quality on this thing is amazing i'll put a video card for this one right here so you guys can check that one next thank you guys for checking this video and i'll be catching you on the next one have a wonderful rest of your day peace